ordinary things, the things we usually never really notice, can often play the most important part in our lives. Even a bird's drinking cup, made from the neck of a broken old bottle. Ah, oh, yes, yes, songbird, sing your happy little song. But what reason have I to be happy? For in my life, I have flown higher than most, only to fall on hard times and be broken. There, there, my pretty one. You like your new drinking glass, don't you? Oh, I wasn't always a boring old broken bottleneck, you know. I was made for better things. For I was blown into existence out of fire, air, and liquid sand. Ah. Hello, I'm a beer bottle. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hello. I'm a milk bottle, me. Uh, how nice for you. <laughs> and I'm a cough bottle. Delighted, <laughs> I'm sure. You're a funny shape, pal. What kind of bottle are you, eh? I, I don't know yet. But I did hear the workman saying not to drop me, for when I've cooled, I'm to go in the special crate. Ooh, well, aren't we all lucky, <laughs> Let's push him off the shelf. Then he won't be so oh, special, no, no, will he? No, no, hey. I'm sorry. I, That'll I, I teach him to give himself airs. Oh! Oops, too late. Whoa! Oh. Phew, that was close. Best put you somewhere safe before anything else happens. <laughs> that taught him. But I don't understand. Why do they dislike me so much? What's wrong with being put in the special box? And so, the bottle was ready for delivery to the wine shop sellers. Good day to you. How do you do? Lovely day, isn't it? Ah. Now, these are much more my kind of bottles. <laughs> oh, yes. I see. So this is champagne. What a wonderful tingly, bubbly sensation. I expect we'll soon be sent to some great nobleman's cellar. Or perhaps even the royal vaults. Yes! Oh, splendid! How lucky we are! <laughs> oh, see how the sun shines through us, making our tiny bubbles sparkle like royal jewels. <laughs> Eventually, the bottles found themselves in a wine shop. Yes, I think we're going to like it here. Ooh, here we go, a customer already. Yes, yes. Ooh, Ali. An excellent bottle. Ooh. Excellent vintage. I'll take it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Cheerio. Bye now. Best of luck. <laughs> ah, well now, isn't it nice to be appreciated at long last? Perhaps I'll be sold to a count. <gasps> Who knows? Maybe even the king himself. Ah, good day to you, Heinrich. How are you this fine day? Well, thank you, Carl. And what may we do for you? Well, it's supposed to be a secret, but my darling daughter Elsa and her young man are getting engaged tomorrow. So, a bottle of your very best champagne, if you please. How exciting! That's us! Ooh, but he's a tradesman! Oh, ho, ho, ho. my congratulations to the happy couple, Carl. But, are you sure the very best is also very, very expensive? Yes, we are. More so than that fellow can probably afford. Yes. He doesn't look even remotely royal. Here he comes. You know what to do, everyone. You know me, Heinrich? Nothing's too good for my Elsa. Even if I do have to cut back on things for myself sometimes. Hmm. That's odd. 
tell you what, Carl. You've always been a good customer. No, no. Pick one of the others. This one's a particularly fine vintage. But I'll give you a discount. Oh, no! To be sold off cheap to an ordinary person. Thank you, Heinrich. I won't forget this. Well, Elsa's a lovely girl. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Oh, this is so humiliating. Hmm. The other bottles told me a tradesman's house would be much worse than this. The decor's quite nice, really. Uh, in a provincial way, of course. Oh. And Elsa seems such a lovely girl, even if she isn't a royal princess. Happening. Hey! Hey! It's dark in here! Whew. Thank goodness! Being stuck in that hamper was no picnic at all! Ah, so that's how it is. Elsa really likes that young officer. And it looks like he likes her, too. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? What are they doing? Oh, goodness me. They're coming back. He can't have asked her already. Mother, father, wonderful news. Jonathan's asked me to marry him. A wedding? How lovely! Oh. <laughs> I'm so oh, happy! Oh. happy. <laughs> so why is everyone <laughs> crying? My darling Elsa, I'm so happy! Well, what do you know? Look what I oh. wrote! So this is what I was made for! to help people celebrate their happiest <laughs> occasions. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Look at me! I'm bubbling over with excitement! All those other champagne bottles got it wrong! Yes, congratulations! Whoopee! To Elsa and Jonathan, all the happiness in the world. Long life and happiness. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm crying, too. So that's what happens when happiness overflows. Ah, 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 ah. Aha. So, you two, when's the happy day to be? Next spring, we think, when I get back from my next trip. Then again, our new ship is pretty fast, so maybe even sooner. <laughs> That's odd. I suddenly feel quite empty. <sighs> oh, it's getting chilly. Oh, we should go home soon. Oh, come on, Jonathan. You know the tradition? The higher you throw it, the better your luck will be. Tradition? What tradition? Hey, no one told me about this bit. No, wait! Don't you want to give me as a <laughs> souvenir? Oops. Didn't see that branch in the way. <laughs> hmm. Didn't go as high as I'd have liked. I hope that doesn't mean bad luck. Jonathan, please, don't even say such things. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> but I don't understand. <laughs> It was my job to make their day special. How could they just throw me away like that? The bottle thought about this for a few days. Until... Hello. What's this? Oh, oh, oh! Young man, thank goodness! Now please, take me back to the wine shop. There's bound to be a reward for finding me. Oh, it's only an old bottle. But maybe Mother might find some use for it. No, no, not this way. Town's the other way. Where are you taking me? You're an excellent fisherman, Peter. But this bottle was a pretty good catch, too. 
perfect for my special herb tea mixture. Oh, I want to be filled with sparkling champagne again. Not much call for that kind of thing around these parts. <laughs> Not much call for sparkling champagne where you're going, neither. Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh, 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 oh. Ugh, what is this stuff? Why, that would be Mother's homemade seasickness remedy. There. This'll keep your tummy settled when you set sail tomorrow. Thanks, Mother. Seasickness remedy? And so... The very next day. <laughs> Look! My rightful owners! Perhaps they've come to say sorry for throwing me away. Please, young Peter, return me to them, I beg you! Oh, what's the use? No one listens to a word I say. Goodbye, my Elsa. I'll think of you every hour till I return. They didn't come to say anything to me. They're too busy thinking about each other. And meanwhile, who else cares about me? No one. <sighs> to them, I'm just a bottle. Master! Lunt! Pattern down the hatches! You know the drill, Mr. Nielsen! Aye, aye, sir. Hands by the halyard! Is there no help for that man? Peter? Aye, sir! A sprig of my mother's mixture! Get that inside you, mate, but guard that bottle with your life! I will, Peter. Hmm. Well, at least these fellows see some value in me. I can feel it doing me good already. <laughs> Which is more than that Jonathan did when he threw me away. You know something, Peter? That bottle is as good as a ship's doctor. Who? Me? As good as a doctor? But I haven't even been to medical school. Still, they all keep saying it, so it must be true. I'm certain Jonathan recognises me, but I will accept his apology for throwing me away, of course, as soon as he can find the courage to make it. <sighs> the entire crew now refers to me as the ship's doctor, <laughs> which has cheered me up a bit, I suppose. <laughs> But the bottle's newfound medical career was too good to last. So, the ship's doctor finally retires. <sighs> oh no, please don't throw me away again. Oh, thank you for keeping me safe from him, Peter. Thank you. But Jonathan had more pressing matters on his mind. And within hours... the top sails, fore and aft. Everyone fought the wind, but to no avail. Oh no! We're sinking! <laughs> Typical! It's every man for himself, and not a thought for their faithful old ship's doctor. Jump, sir! Jump! Save yourself! Oh, I see! You couldn't just say you're sorry, so you're writing it! We are going down. Remember me, my beloved Elsa. Jonathan. <sighs> oh, no! Not again! The bottle never found out what became of his crewmates. He just floated on the high seas until he lost count of the years. Hmm. Seems I'm a natural at swimming after all. He drifted and drifted until somewhere off the coast of Brazil. Yeah. 
But even to the local magistrate, the words of the note meant nothing. And his most learned friends could not translate it. Until, some years after the magistrate had passed away, Don't leave me here in this dark place. Oh, this is worse than floating in the sea. Arr, did someone mention the sea? Come, all you young sailors who follow the sea. Hey, ho, and blow the man down. <sighs> but when oh. the Red Rover gets clear of the land, hey, ho, blow Please, the man down. You've been singing that song for ten years now. And if I hear just one more verse of it, I'm sure I shall explode. Ah, you're right, young lad. I was getting bored with it too, so I was. <gasps> what will we do with the rowdy sailor? What will we do with the rowdy sailor? What will we do oh, with the rowdy good sailor? Grief. Early and in so, the morning. for many more years, what will we do the bottle the sat there sailor? in the attic, what will we do with only the, the singing sailor? ship what in a bottle for company. Until one day, the attic too was cleared out. When but when the Red Rover gets clear of the land, hey ho, blow, blow the man, the man down. down. And all the bottles were sent to a scientist. Unable to make neither head nor tail of it, the scientist threw away the bottle's message. <laughs> Washed and shiny again. Now this surely is a hopeful sign. Perhaps someone will finally realize I'm a champagne bottle. Oh, don't bang on it, amigo. This guy, he just using us to bring seeds back to his own country. They worth mucho money there. Seeds? Seeds? Oh, will I never again be used to hold champagne? So the bottle found himself on the high seas once again. But when the ship docked, he was in for a surprise. I can hardly believe it. After all this traveling, I've somehow ended up back in my very own hometown. Oh dear, what will happen now? Good afternoon. How do you do? Good day to you. Uh, excuse me, but what kind of bottles are you? <laughs> Uh, why? Can't you tell? Champagne, of course. Just like you. Yes. We're off to be refilled. No. Can it be possible? And, sure enough... <laughs> oh. I am finally reborn to do what I was made to do. Be a champagne bottle! Good day to you. How do you do? Yes. Oh, this is a happy day. I'm back on the very same shelf in the very same shop I started my career in. But this time I'm just going to enjoy being a bottle of champagne. No more wishing my life away. No more dreaming of royal vaults and cellars. No, simply delighting in being me. So the bottle learned to appreciate just being himself. Until one day. A bottle of your very best champagne, my good man. For today, I wish to celebrate true greatness. I don't believe it. He picked me. Oh, well done, that bottle. Good luck. Ah, and whose greatness will your lordship be celebrating this week? Why, my own, of course. So, keep your eye on the sky today. 
You may see something few have ever seen. Finally! My time has come! I've been bought by a nobleman at last! To celebrate greatness! Oh, what joy! What a crowd! I always knew it would be like this! How absolutely splendid! Thank you all for coming to witness this record-breaking flight! At 1,000 feet above the ground, I will drink to everyone's health to flight to the future! the moment I was made for. Yes! At long, long last! This is my destiny! I've done it! A thousand and fifty feet! No human person has ever flown higher! Yes! Yes! I'm bubbling over! Celebrate! To fly! To the future! To all mankind! Yes! To champagne! To me! <laughs> uh, control yourself, young sir! <laughs> oh no! Wait! Not the old bottle toss for luck routine. What if you hurt someone? That wouldn't be very lucky, would it, eh? Eh? No! Not again! Why? What did I ever do to you? Apart from try to bring you joy? Oh, whatever can that be? Look what's fallen from the sky. Just for you. Well, you are a lucky bird. Now you have your very own drinking cup, just like the pet birds in rich people's homes. <laughs> so there you have it, songbird. Do you see now why I do not sing? Oh, what a life of ups and downs I have led. From vintage champagne bottle to broken bird glass. From empty to full to empty again. From worthless to priceless and back again. Ah, oh, full circle. Wait a minute. That photograph. It can't be. After all these years. This old lady as young Elsa all those years ago. I... I may not still hold Jonathan's message, but I made it back to her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, well, Songbird. Maybe that's worth singing about after all. And so the bottleneck forgot all about how much money he had once been worth, or how high his shelf in the wine shop had been, realized just how important he had been in people's lives was now what made him happiest of all. <laughs>